Telex Radio Dispatch Products, Seasoft Dispatching, and Motorola Moto Turbo. Until this latest release of Seasoft, all Motorola Moto Turbo radios were connected to an IP223 or 224 using the MTRBI. Now, this latest release supports an IP224 interface direct to Moto Turbo Mobiles, the XPR 4550 and 55 series, supporting both analog digital capacity plus, link capacity plus, and connect plus formats. The following features are supported. Private call, group call, radio check, radio monitor, call alert, disable, enable, text message send, and now text message receive, GPS, zone channel read, and emergency act at the console level. Please note, text messaging and GPS services are not supported in Connect Plus. The remaining portion of this video will cover the basic setup of Seasoft and Moto Turbo interfaces. Okay, we're going to put some basic Moto Turbo lines into uh, a Seasoft design. I'm going to come up to Edit, Set Up Per Line Parameters. My default uh, multicast address and ports are uh, in this one. I'm going to use the autofill function. And I'm going to configure my um, Seasoft to match some of uh, my lab gear that I have. And as you can see here, I've changed the last octet to 181, and I'm starting with 5101 and 6101, and that will match my IP224 config. 5101, 6101, my turbo interface, my MTRBI, these are my voice packets, and these are my serial over IP packets for control. So now we're going to do, say, for lines 1 and 2, And then I'm going to say OK. Oh, sorry, a little too soon. We'll give this a name. This will be the Turbo Interface. And this one will be the MTRBI. And now we'll add in the SOIP. You go to the uh, signal setup. Uh, system type, uh, generic to Moto Turbo, tab opens. We're going to choose the MTRBI interface on the 224. Gonna change to 181 is my octet, and this will be um, 3250 and 3268. We'll say OK. And I'll go to the next one. Moto Turbo. I'm going to leave this the MTRBI. My 181 octet, and this is 31.250 and 31.268. Okay. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is a shortcut here. Uh, by default, uh, our frequencies aren't loaded, so I'm going to load a. Uh, known uh, frequency list that I've already created in a CSV file format. One of the big things to remember is on the zone is to make sure your channel pool zone matches the channel pool zone that is programmed in uh, your motor turbo radio. I'll do the same thing for line two. Now I have all my analog and digital channels in uh, uh, the various zones that we've got in our mobiles. Say OK. And then I'll start adding some uh, uh, basic line control. The first button is always a, uh, uh, in any given line, a select button. And it uh, automatically associates uh, to line one, the turbo. What happened there? Grabbed, somehow created another one. Uh, next button will be a uh, Moto Turbo window. Some of the nice things behind the Turbo window um, 
is each one of the uh, background colors is selectable. Each one of the buttons with inside a tab is also uh, selectable. Some of them can be enabled or disabled. So you can start to limit uh, what flex uh, functionalities the individual dispatcher can have. Um, some of the feature sets can be password protected to uh, prohibit just uh, random dispatchers from uh, messing with people in the field. Our various heartbeat timers to the radios. And then we have talk permit tones, whether or not they're generated by the console. So the console can generate the go-ahead tones that the dispatcher hears. So we'll say OK. I'm going to add a uh, PTT uh, per line. And I'll make this one a mute per line. Some of the functionality behind a mute is mute time, zero is latch on, latch off. And mute level zero will be fully muted when it's uh, in the down condition. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, I'm trying to make a module. I'm going to add a VU meter. I'll make it vertical. I'll make it match the rest. I'll drag it over here. And the last uh, physical control I need is a volume control. Check the properties on the volume. It should be a per line volume associated to line one. I'm going to leave it that. And I want to make it blue. Now, one of the big things we see in tech support is that a lot of individuals leave the maximum gain of zero. We always like to tell people put 12 in there. Uh, zero is physically a button that doesn't do much or a volume control that has a, a little effect on the actual quality of the audio. And the last thing I always do is a text button. This allows me to just put some text on a button or even a bitmap. This will be um, interface. So I have the basics there of a, a single line. Control C, Control V with them all highlighted. Use my arrow keys. I can drag those over. Make them a little farther apart. You'll see why in a minute. And with them all highlighted again, I'm going to go right click group line number and associate them to the second line. And then all I have to do is just change the text in here, turbo interface to turbo MTRVI. And that way I can tell which goes to which. I'm going to um, add a clock. right click on it, uh, the properties, you can play with the various colors. Uh, biggest thing I want to do is just at least make the text a little bit bigger. There's a few other features or uh, basic functionality that has to be on a design. This one being the PTT main. And then my last two will be a volume control master. Again, I want to give it plus 12. I want to make it horizontal. Just kind of stretch it across the bottom a little bit. Control C, Control V, make another one. Drag it over. And then change that one to master unselect. So this is uh, the basics of uh, uh, two lines of turbo on a Seesaw screen and uh, 
we'll go with that and see how it looks here in a second when we go on a uh, live uh, network. All right, let's uh, launch uh, our CSoft design. All right, I'll drag it into runtime. Uh, we'll bring up our CSoft. Uh, as you can see, the lines are grayed out. We have SOIP connection on the turbo interface. Bring that up. We have red LED. It will turn uh, green. We're reading in the mobile data. And we'll get channel information. If I come over here and check the turbo interface, we get the same indication. So I'm going to get my portable radio. Test one, two, three, four. Well, that's kind of interesting. I have a visual R indication of received traffic, and I had the VU meter, but all I had was uh, ID data. So what we'll do is we'll uh, minimize this. And we'll come back here and look at our multicast packets. And I can see that I did an error right off the bat. So even I can make an error. So we'll save that. Say OK. Save our design. This is number three that we're saving. Close that down. I have to reshut down my Seasoft. And then we'll relaunch it here. So now it comes back up. getting our uh, SOIP connections back to the mobiles. And today we're uh, one of the uh, units is a 4550 and the other is a 5550 mobile. So we'll look at both now and if we do radio test, one, two, three, four, now we have actual traffic from both radios. That's a good sign. So some of the basic functionality we can do, uh, we can instant PTT, so if I select the line, we're on the turbo interface right now. Test one, two. So we have some audio through our mobile radio to our portable. And if I go to uh, from here, I can do a private call. This is unit 1332. Test one, two. So that's a private call, or I could do a group call. Test one, two. So there's our uh, our group call. I can do the same thing. I can do radio checks to a unit. I can remote monitor, enable or disable the radio. If the portable is outside and we had GPS sync, uh, we could uh, take the coordinates to a Google Earth. Um, one of the big improvements on a turbo interface, as we talked earlier, was the ability to receive a text. So I'm going to um, send a text message, and it'll just be random stuff. So there it is, uh, just a random text from the field unit. But if I go over to the MTRBI, that text is not received yet. Both of these are on group 200. So that's one of the beauties for the MTRBI or the turbo interface is that it will accept uh, text messages from the field, whether it be group or individual. So we could send back a text. Wow. Well, one of those kind of days, send it back to uh, unit 1332, sending unit send him a text, and I've already received it. The history tab will allow us to see the various events that have taken place. Uh, on that line, you can see the various group calls, the text message uh, received. So this is some basic functionality. Uh, just showing you off uh, those kind of things. Uh, we'll come up with a, a second video, which will go a little more involved and add a few more features, uh, different ways you can deploy motor turbo. 
So uh, please uh, stay tuned and watch for uh, additional videos. Uh, thank you, and hopefully uh, this was an informative uh, CSoft and Moto Turbo interface uh, and MTRBI demo. Bosch, invented for life.